All right, Shalom. First, I want to start by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kakodash, Barakatay Yahweh, Barakatay Yahushai. Yahweh been the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai been the name of His beloved Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. <clears throat> That's the true names in the Lashawan Kodash, the ancient Hebrew. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. I'm back with another lesson through the Spirit of Power Yahweh by Shemal Shai. And the title of this lesson will be Blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe. All right, blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe. All right, because we know that faith is the main ingredient of this thing. Okay, and we know that this uh, <clears throat> this faith that we have, that we've been blessed with, is of great worth. Okay, because it wasn't given to everyone. All right, it wasn't given to everyone. You read 2nd Edges 6 chapter, it mentions uh, before they were sealed, they have gathered faith for a treasure. Okay, and that faith is a gift <clears throat> from Yahweh by Shema Shai. All right, to believe without seeing like they have that uh that phrase um seeing is believing well the elect all right we don't need to see lord's world of that number we don't need to see to believe okay and that's 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 really faith right there all right seeing the unseen but uh this is uh ephesians 2 and 8 for by grace are you saved through faith all right and this is how we're gonna make it out of here man all right, by believing in the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai, by believing in Yahweh by Shema Shai, okay? <clears throat> For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, right? It ain't of ourselves, man. We didn't give ourselves this faith. All right, we didn't choose this to serve the Lord. The Lord chose us to, to serve Him. It says, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the Most High, you see? And that's a straight uh, 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 gift from the Heavenly Father, man. You know, this faith, you know, which is the best, the, the best gift you can receive, especially in these times. OK, because it's going to take a lot of faith to uh, to make it on them ships. But it's all right, because the election. All right. They were given that faith uh, before they were sent down here, man. It's already in us. Lord's world, we have that number. The scriptures say. Uh, let me go to it. It's uh, Sirach 1 and 14. It says, To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. You see that? So the ones that were predestinated, it was already it was already set up. It was already set up for these souls to believe at the end. Okay, and to, and to ultimately be delivered. Alright, to fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and it was created with the faithful in the womb. Okay, so this gift. That Yahweh Shemal Shai has blessed us with This faith is, is, is very precious And it's only increasing in value Man, in worth Okay, because as things As things uh, Get turbulent Alright, and get more intense out here In these last days uh, You know, our faith is going to increase In the value of our faith Believing in Yahweh Shemal Shai getting this, Having this word within us and it's only going to increase uh, uh, in value and it's worth. Okay. So. Um, it's precious. This is a precious. Uh, 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 I'm just going to read the scripture. All right. Since it's not given to everyone, it's given to a select few. It's very precious. Second Peter 1 and 1. Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Yahweh Shai, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of the Most High and our Savior Yahweh Shai. All right, so this thing is precious, man. Okay, it's only given to a few. All right, which is the election, you know, the ones that were predestinated to believe. All right. Now let's go. Let's go to where Yahweh Shai had mentioned that in the Book of John. All right, because Yahweh Shai had appeared unto the apostles 
and uh, Thomas wasn't there. And when they had told Thomas, he said that he won't believe unless he sees, you know, the, the actual holes on the Lord. Let me just read it. I'm going to start at 24, John 20 and 24. It says, but Thomas, one of the 12 called Didymus, was not with them when Yahweh came. And that's when he came um, and appeared himself unto the apostles. The other disciples therefore said unto him, we have seen the Lord, but he said unto them, except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails and put my finger into the print of the nails and thrust my hand into his side, I would not believe. Okay, now we know that Thomas is a man of the Lord. Okay? You know, and it shows you that there's levels to faith. But uh, to make another point, you know, hey, a lot of our people, they need to see it to believe it, man. You know, they need to see the Heavenly Father. You know, they need to see how we're shy to, to believe it. They need to see the prophecies to believe it, man. But then where is, where, where is faith? You know, where is faith? All right. It says, and after eight days, again, his disciples were within and Thomas with them. Then came Yahweh Shai, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Right? Yahweh Shai uses his, uh, his power, his spiritual power, and just appeared in there. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands. And reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side. And be not faithless, but believing. You see that? And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my power. You see, and, and that's when, you know, uh, Thomas wanted, wanted wanted to believe, or he believed when he seen it, you know? Which, like I said, he's a man of the Lord. It doesn't take nothing away from him, you know, his uh, position in the faith, you know? But, um, you know, a lot of our people, when they, when they actually believe it, it's going to be too late, man, because it's going to be playing out uh, in, real, in real time, in real life. You know, the, the time of Jacob's trouble, Esau coming down with great wrath, you know, the implementation of that mark. All right. Nuclear destruction. Yahweh shall return. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. You know, it says, and Thomas answered and said unto, unto me, my Lord and my power. Yahweh shall say unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. You see that? Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. Okay, and who's that? That's that's the Lord's elect. All right? Because we've been blessed with that faith. Second address. One and 37. It says, I take to witness the grace of the people to come whose little ones rejoice in gladness. The elect... And though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, right? We haven't seen the Lord in the flesh. Not in this lifetime, you know? No, no, no one is on this earth has, okay? And though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, yet in spirit, they believe the thing that I say. You see that? Yet in spirit, man, we believe, man. We have faith, okay? We have the vision, man. All right? <clears throat> Going back to that gift. Okay, that precious faith that Yahweh Shema Shai has blessed us with. It says that many other signs truly did Yahweh Shai in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that you might believe that Yahweh Shai is the Messiah and the Son of the Heavenly Father, and that believing you might have life through his name. You see that? All right, so it's all about faith, man. That's the, the, the main ingredient. You know, this thing, you know, which wasn't given to a uh, majority of our people. Okay, they believe in the now. They believe in what they can see, the tangibles, you know. They believe in the tangibles, man. Um, <clears throat> but the scripture tell you, let me, let me actually get it. They're blinded, you know. 
I actually won 11, but I could read two as well. I mean, 10. Uh, right, this is uh, Romans 10 and 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Heavenly Father for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, right? Jake believe in the Lord and who they who they think is the Lord. You know, but when you get into the the, the, technic, the technicalities and when you really dive into the scriptures, Jake don't really believe in that. You know, they don't believe in how we shall returning with the, the thousands and thousands of UFOs. They don't believe that this, this Edomite is the devil. You know? They don't believe that they're above all people, man. You know? They don't believe that men are, women, are over women. You know? They don't believe that this world is going to end. It says, For I bear them record that they have a zeal to most high, but not according to knowledge. You see? It's not according to knowledge, man. And the scripture said, They speak not according to this word. There's no light in them. For they being ignorant of the most highest righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the most high. So that are a lot, most of our people, they want to do it their way. They want to serve the Lord in, in the way they want to do it, which is really Satanism. Because at the end of the day, they're doing what they want. They're pleasing their flesh. All right. So they think they could do any and everything. And, and still be accepted of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, which it don't work like that. But uh, let me read this real quick. Romans 11 and, uh, and 7, where it actually goes into predestination. But it's all good. Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he's seeking for? Right. Jake is, you know, searching for their purpose. But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blind. You see? The election has that faith They have the truth But the rest were blinded Like the scriptures tell you When they heard the word Right Faith cometh by hearing But when they heard the word Hebrews 4 and 2 For unto us was the gospel preached As well as unto them Right But the word preached Did not profit them Not being mixed with faith In them that heard, that heard it Alright So they didn't have the faith You know their faith wasn't activated or their spirits was you know, sparked when they heard this word. Unlike the election, the scripture say, my sheep hear my voice. All right? My sheep hear my voice. No, is it 18? I think it's 18, 30. All them that hear, all them that uh, love me, understand the truth. Right, it's uh, John 18 and 37. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? And how was I answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that, I'm, that I should bear witness unto truth, unto the truth. Here it goes. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice, you see? So it's only meant for a, a, a selected few. You know, going to going back to making it precious, man. You know, when something is precious, it's 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 scarce. You know, and 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 you know, in the, in the, in the uh the big picture, man. Hey, this truth is it's scarce on the earth, although it's flourishing, but it's only flourishing within a few. Okay, when you when you look at all the the people of the earth, or all the jakes of the earth, you know, because fuck you heathens. All right. So let's go to uh, 1 Peter. All right, because we believe in the Lord, and we haven't seen him, but we believe. Uh, I'm going to start at 6. 1 Peter 1 and 6. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptations. That the trial of your faith, being more precious, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai. 
Okay, so we're going through the fire, you know, being purified by the fire, man. Okay? Um, so we could be, you know, found worthy when you have a shot returns. It says, whom having not seen, ye love. And how do we know we love the Lord? We, 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 we uh, keep his commandments, man. We do what he says. Okay, and the main thing that the Lord requires is faith. And that's where, our, that's where our people lack. All right? That's where the, the, the scriptures say, children wherein is no faith. You know? But the scriptures say that the just shall live by faith, man. You know? So that's the main the main part of this thing, all right? Because the scriptures tell you that uh, the Lord is an invisible God, right? Alright, here we go. So if something is invisible, it takes faith to see it, right? Like the wind. You can't you can't <clears throat> you don't necessarily see the wind, but you can feel the wind. You know? You actually see it. You can see it flowing through things. Alright, and we see the Lord through everything. Alright, so this is uh Colossians 1 and 15. It says, Who is the image? This is speaking of Yahweh Shai. Who is the image of the invisible power, all right? The firstborn of every creature, okay? So, that takes faith to believe in the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shema Hoshai. 1 Timothy 1 and 17. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, all right? The only wise power be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. All right? So, it's invisible. The, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shema Hoshai, is invisible. You know, being in this realm. Okay, being in this realm. But in this realm, the Lord, hey, the Lord gives us that faith, man. To believe in him. To where no one uh no one could convince us otherwise. Okay? And this is all of y'all about Shemal Shai, man. And this is what we gotta hold on to. Alright? We gotta fight to hold on to this faith. You know, to believe in the Lord no matter what. Alright, so going back to first Peter one and eight. Whom having not seen, you love, and whom, though now you see him not, right? We don't see Yahweh Shai. Yet believing, you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Okay, so we don't, we haven't seen him, but we believe in him. All right, which is faith. <clears throat> Receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. NLT says the reward for trusting him all right the reward for trusting how about smile shy will be the salvation of your souls and that's what we're looking for man that's what it's all about it's good to speak of having the uh the helmet of salvation all right our hopes are our hopes are being delivered at this place you know being saved from the destruction to come it says receiving the end of your souls are you receiving the end of your faith even the salvation of your souls. Okay? So you gotta have faith to believe in how about your shot. I mean you just gotta have faith. It's a necessity. You know, that's the like first step. You know, but it's given to us it's given to a selected few. Alright. Let me read the one and then jump to six. It says now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of not of things not seen. All right, jumping down to six. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. It's impossible to please Yahweh by Shemal Shai without faith. For he that cometh to the heavenly Father must believe that he is. Right, you must believe that he exists, which is his name, Yahweh. He is. He exists. He to be. Okay. It says, for he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay? And the ones that diligently seek him are the Lord's elect. The ones he placed his spirit upon. The ones that he's given that faith to. Alright? And it's all it's always been about faith with Yahweh Shemal Shai. It's always been about faith. You know, the Lord will place obstacles in our way. He'll prove us, try us. You know, uh, 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 trying our faith, man, to see, you know, 
where it lies. You know, the Lord's always showing us to trust in him. Okay, just to believe. You know, Yahweh Shai said, only believe, man. All right. It says, by faith, Noah, being warned of the Most High, of things not seen as yet. Right, and this time we were warned of the Most High through his men of things not seen as yet, man. Like I had mentioned, martial law, Jacob's trouble, uh, 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 nuclear destruction, okay? It says, being warned of the Most High of things not seen as yet. Move with fear, right? We're moving with fear. And, no, and faith and fear go hand in hand, okay? Faith and fear... Uh, 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 are the first steps in building and developing a relationship with the Lord, man. They go hand in hand. It says, move with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith, man. So it's all about faith. This whole chapter is about faith, you know, but um, <clears throat> that's pretty much what I wanted to go into today. You know, we've been, we've been blessed to believe in Yahweh Shemal Shai, although we haven't seen the Heavenly Father, we haven't seen Yahweh Shai, you know, we haven't seen what the Lord has prepared for us, the kingdom, but we believe it, man. We, 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 we believe wholeheartedly the words of this book, you know, which is faith, which is a gift from Yahweh Shemal Shai, so break the Yahweh Shemal Shai, the water Yahweh Shemal Shai for this faith, man. You know, we have to, uh, we have to keep it, man, and fight for it. So, Lord's will is edifying. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe. All right, till next time, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh Shemel Shai. Till next time, Shalom.